hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with part 4 in my mini series with the Kaleidos makeup things <laughs> so if you don't know what this is I will leave my first part up here but I am doing a makeup look with one of the Kaleidos palettes and one of the highlighters and because this is part number four it is of course palette number four so this is VR Neon this I think this is my favorite palette from Kaleidos it looks like this I really love the whole palette. I think it is a really, really good palette. Love the color story, love the packaging and everything. And the highlight that I am planning on using is Ray Rider. This is an orange one. So I think we just hop into this makeup look. So, okay. And yes, I am wearing a hoodie for like the first time in a super long time but it is so freaking cold outside and inside right now so we just have to deal with it so okay I will start with the yellow one and I know exactly what I want to do with this palette and in these I do like the makeup look I want because if you have a YouTube channel you know that you're like at least for me, it's not that often that I have the opportunity to do whatever I feel like because I often do like a palette bingo or something like that. But now I'm just doing exactly what I want with this. And if you have been here for a while, I guess you may know what I'm going to do today. So I will start with the yellow, just like this. And I will write down in the description what all the shadows are. The name of all the shadows, because I uh, don't know that. Okay, maybe wearing a hoodie wasn't a good idea, because the studio lights is pretty hot. So, like that. And then for my outer corner, I will take this red one. Just slap it on. This isn't like red. I don't know, maybe it's more like a reddish orange. I can't like understand why people say that they don't like red and orange and yellow on eyeshadows. I'm like, um, how can you not love this? Okay, and then I of course go in with the orange one and put it my inner corner and oh yes this orange is so nice so nice and this is really like a really really strong orange and I love that strong orange maybe a bright orange maybe that's a better description of it so I think easy as that, I may go over with the brush I had in my crease with no product on it and just sweep this. So okay, I will take away the fallout, fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we finish up this look with something more fun maybe on the under eyes, on, on the under eyes, under the eyes and yeah. So I will fix that and then I'll come back. Okay, so almost everything is done with my base. We are. I have something on my nose. We are of course putting on the Ray Rider together and I'm using the highlighter brush from Kaleido. Ooh. Okay, this looks beautiful. I I hope you can see this. I still haven't figured out how to show the highlighter on camera, but Oh my god. Okay, I think this is my new favorite. It feels like that for every video I do. This looks amazing. I really love this Ray Rider. I am going to use the 
flash on my phone just to see how it looks under the flash. And this is... I don't know how to best show you. This is shimmery but it's not as shimmery as the others. I feel like but it looks really good I think this is my favorite actually I love it okay I will just spritz my face with some setting spray so for my under eyes I will go in with this shimmery orange I hope this can be cool and I will spray it because I don't want any fallouts if you are going to use this on like your lid you don't need to spray it but I like always want to spray when I'm using something underneath my eye because I don't want it to fall onto my face I like this maybe I want a little bit more so I think I am satisfied with eyeshadow like this. It came maybe a little too far down on this eye, but I think it's nothing that looks super strange, I hope. So I will put on mascara, something my wash line and a lipstick. So this is the finished look for my wash line. I used Unt, so I think I can never like remember this from Colourpop and on my lips I have used Pumpkin Pie from Jeffree Star. Maybe this lip is a little bit too... Maybe I should have taken a brighter orange or maybe red but I really love this lipstick so I wanted to use it. So this is my finished look with the VR Neon and the Ray Rider and this highlighter I freaking love it love it so much i think this is my favorite i maybe can swatch it for you on my hand so i think first i was afraid actually that it was going to be too dark for me but i don't think it is so yeah, it looks, like, it looks so dark on my hand, but I don't feel it is too dark on my face. So I am really happy. I really, really like this. And this Ray Rider is one of the N ones. I have talked about this a little bit before. The other two that I have really liked is the Comet Catcher and Star Surfer. And they are also N. My little... I think that it's two different formulas or two different categories because three of them is N and three of them is G and I like these N ones best and now this is on top. Maybe if I use maybe this one it goes back on top but right now, I, but maybe it is too dark. Now when I'm looking at it at the, like this. But I think it like suits me. It doesn't look like a chunk because right like if I look it doesn't look like a dark streak. And like this it is blending into maybe it is too dark. I am so bad at this. But like in real life and I always think it's a little bit hard when you have like two studio lights and not like normal light and everything. It's a little bit harder to see how things look in the studio lighting. But I don't think it is too dark. Maybe you can help me. So that was all for this video. We only have one palette and one highlighter left. And we will see when that comes up. Not in too long, I hope. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!